making big old semi bonus leg of lamb. Semi bonus? That bone goes all the way through. Yeah, well, it's part of it, so I guess. It's been taken out or something. Maybe they took the other side of it out. That joint. Yeah, I'm still squeamish a little bit on the meat after last week. But um, what it's got on it is it's been um, sitting for about an hour with um, a mixture of a half a cup of olive oil, about six cloves of garlic mashed up, um, maybe about two tablespoons. You know, the cat's trying to shred the chair. About two tablespoons, or really just several sprigs of rosemary chopped up. And you could either use about nine anchovy fillets, or I just used about three inches of anchovy paste, secret ingredient X. Um, put the lamb on the rack, fat side up, make several slits in the in the fat, and then rub that goodness all the way through. Yeah. Um, let it sit covered for about an hour. You could do it five hours or so in the refrigerator, but just make sure you bring the meat to um, room temperature before you cook it. So we've got the oven preheating to 400. It's been sitting, like I said, for about a little over an hour. I've just put some salt and fresh black pepper. And we will roast it at 400 until it's medium rare, which will be about an hour or so. Um, and I'll get the other things ready and I'll show you before we throw it in the oven. Yay. Yay. Okay. Well, we went to the candy line market today and um, these are the beets from a bunch of beets that we got. We just kind of washed them. I put some olive oil, um, salt and pepper. And I'm going to roast those as, along with the um, the lamb. Then I cleaned off the greens. Greens. Ruby greens. And those will um, be a side. Got from also from the county line some fresh spring onions. These rock. And I just took two and um, I'm going to put that on the pan to roast along with. It's the beets. Unless you want more than two. I don't care. Roasted onions are really, really, really dang good. So I'll just run these in the olive oil stuff. Then I'm going to go ahead and get the lamb in the oven. And we'll be back with the progress check. In this pan I've got a little bit of butter and a little bit of olive oil. I'm just trying to overcook. Um, slice Turn it off. I'm going to sit here and take the lid off of it. Okay. Anyway, the tops of the two spring onions, I went ahead and chopped up. And let that saute for a few minutes. What we're going on top will be these we just have to beat greens and we're just going to wilt those just like that just like that <laughs> let me go ahead and get some salt in here these pretty much just get you need to do the same thing with collards or any other greens. Yeah, I grew up mom, well my mom still cooks collards for three days on the stove and they're great. I mean they're all time total yumminess. This is also a good way to do this. You just have to make sure to wash them and then wash them again and then wash them again. Because they collect a tremendous amount of herbs and sand, yeah. Especially when you buy them from a Farmer's market. Um, a market, yeah. When you're cleaning these, you just want the big um, stems like that out. <laughs> yeah, because they get pretty bitter, don't they? Um, you know, I chewed on one of the big ones, and it wasn't, you know, it wasn't horrible. It's almost like rhubarb. Is it raining again? Okay. Basically, we're just going to turn these over until they wilt, and that's going to be it. The pan looks over full right now, but that will change in a few minutes. Put down next to nothing. Yeah. And this was from one bunch of beets. Actual beets in there. You can put a little um, vinegar on this. A little bit of white balsamic vinegar is very nice. I just like the salt. Butter and oil. 
the rice pan's about to blow up. Alright. <laughs> Fine. It's been a while since it's 15 I've minutes, it'll be done perfectly. It's been a while since I put rice in the stove. Happy rice cooker. Rice on the stove, you put your rice in and your water at a cool temperature. Turn it on, let it come up to a boil. Turn it off, put the lid on it, let it sit there for 20 minutes, and you have perfect rice. Did you check to see when 20 minutes will be? Yeah, in 16 minutes from now. Okay. So, can yeah. tell. <laughs> Alright, we'll be back. All right, we've been in for about an hour, and uh, just checking to see where we are. Everything looks really yummy. It smells unbelievable. Just hit 130 degrees in there, and uh, just about done. All right, the uh, lamb is just sitting back there resting. It's nice and happy and pretty. Mm. But we're here. We uh, deglazed the pan, and we've got some rice going, and we're going to take some lamb rice. Mm -hmm. A Latina. That's what we always do after Easter or whenever we cook a lamb. The veg are all good looking veg here. Sitting happily waiting. And uh, we'll be back. Alright, the leg of lamb's done. As is the rice. It's the lamb rice. Looks really good and tastes really yummy too. There's the beet greens. Tina. <laughs> the wonderful beets, all we did here is just peel them, put some butter and salt on them, and that's really all you need to do with them. They are just. Come. Yeah. But your poo poo will be red the next day. It will look like you're bleeding. First time I had these as an adult, I was pregnant, and I didn't realize it. And then went to the bathroom the next day and thought I was hemorrhaging. That's just buttery goodness you can pour on there. You don't throw it away. Yeah, right. So you can put it on mine if you don't want to. That was yours. Okay. <laughs> Alright, we'll be right back. Alright, there you go. Yum. That's everything. We're going to go eat now. Y'all have fun out there. Bye now. <laughs>